Mr. Shamraj Ilansharan, 28, who came from a single-parent home, had a rough childhood. He was abused by his extended family members and bullied in school due to his small stature. At the age of 13, he wanted to learn Muay Thai to defend himself and asked his mother to enroll him for lessons. During his three years at the Bia Muay Thai BMT gym in Boon Lay, Mr. Shem picked up skills he used that, unfortunately, got him into trouble with the law for assault-related offences. Hardened by his childhood experiences, he started picking physical fights in secondary school and got involved with bad company. In 2011, when he was 16, he was arrested for robbing people of their iPhones by luring them to the staircase landings of an HDB block in Yao Chu Kang and assaulting them. It would not be his last offense. From the ages of 16 to 22, Mr. Shem served three prison sentences for assault-related charges. When he was released from prison in 2017 after serving his last sentence, he was desperate to turn his life around. He returned to his Muay Thai gym as he felt it was a place where he could receive the guidance and discipline he needed to leave his troubled past behind. His coach, Mr. Bia Sonthea Dunfari, took Mr. Shem under his wing and taught him how to be a trainer at the gym. Mr. Shem told the Straits Times, In my eyes, he embodied the upright values that I looked up to. Despite Bia being a good Muay Thai fighter, he was honest and respectable. I saw in my coach what I aspired to be. He said I was put on this earth to do this coach Muay Thai. And that I was a natural at picking up Muay Thai skills, he added. With greater confidence and a newfound purpose, Mr. Shem trained diligently to be the best at his craft and to realize his vision of opening his own Muay Thai gym one day. To date, he has taken part in 22 fights with 17 wins from knockouts. He is currently the two-time World Muay Thai Organization Junior Lightweight Champion of Singapore. When the pandemic struck at the end of 2019 and circuit breaker measures were put in place in 2020, Mr. Shem found himself jobless. Undeterred, he conducted Muay Thai lessons online through Zoom to earn money and keep himself busy. When the circuit breaker measures were relaxed, his students were eager to resume personal training sessions, so Mr. Shem had to think out of the box to find a suitable venue. I wanted a place where my fighters could train, but I had no gym at the time. So, I bought mats and placed them at the multi-purpose hall beside my block. I made a ring by using hand wraps to cordon off the pillars. That became my first Muay Thai gym, said Mr. Shem. Miss Sarah Shahida, 42, a preschool principal, had seen Mr. Shem through his evolutionary journey while he was her Muay Thai trainer at BMT in 2017. In 2022, they decided to open a Muay Thai gym together and achieve this vision in two months, said Miss Sarah. It was something that we have been daydreaming about for years. I saw a potential in this boy to go very far due to his talent. I wanted to be a well-wisher for him and helping him to open his gym was my opportunity to do so. When deciding on what to call the gym, Mr. Shem decided to adopt the name that his mentor Mr. Bia had given him, Ponsuan, which means gifted in Thai. He named the gym Gifted Fight Academy GFA. Now, Mr. Shem coaches people of all ages. He mentors his instructors at GFA to create a welcoming environment at his gym where trainees can not only acquire Muay Thai skills, but learn to be the best version of themselves. Mr. Yoshvesin Saravanan, 20, was selected by Mr. Shem to be an instructor at GFA. Mr. Yoshvesin said, Before this, I had no goals in life. 
When Shem took me in, he gave me a purpose and taught me the value of self-discipline. I saw the positive impact he had on me, and I wanted to have the same impact on others. He added. Miss Marilyn Chung, 43, a humanities tutor, has been practicing Muay Thai since 2008. She has been training with Mr. Shem for over two years and sees the passion he has to help lost kids find their purpose in life. He is one of those rare gems who managed to pull himself out of a really bad situation. He exudes positivity and is a good example for youth on how to find your passion and excel at it. Said Miss Chang. Mr. Avindran S. Slash O. Manosegaran, 40, an investment manager at a litigation funding company, has been training at GFA for over three years. He said, unlike coaches at other commercial Muay Thai gyms, Shem is personally invested in the well-being of his students. He has also helped me build my confidence and self-esteem. Mr. Shem hopes to work with youth at risk so that he can impart the life lessons that he has learned the hard way. He worked with Singapore Indian Development Association SINDA, a self-help group for the Indian community in Singapore, in June to conduct Muay Thai workshops for youth and plans to give motivational talks to residents of the Singapore Boys Home. Fighting is not just in the ring. Fighting is about being resilient in life, he said. So I want to give them the gift of fighting in GFA.